day riding like getting into crazy things these past couple days Ugh, the foundation was poured <laughs> i ain't so sad that i missed it but there's more foundation it's going to be need to be poured so i'll be there for that but pretty sweet yes guys this is it the next thing here is you have to build the wall here and then another wall over here and then the next step will be to take those arches that I built which are here and I'm going to put them in place on top of this foundation and weld them in place so that they are seated like that picture that I showed you so they'll be from that back wall to here. Uh, there'll be three of them set in a line and I'll weld them together with some struts to hold them up, keep them in place. And then we have to pour the cement for the curve. So that's the whole point of these arches is so that they provide support for the cement when we're pouring, because when, when you Obviously, you can't just pour cement into an arch. You have to have some kind of form. So these arches are going to give the, the form. And then when we pour the cement into the cavity that's going to hold the material, the um, arches will hold up the cement and keep it in place until it dries. And it takes quite a long time to dry. But we need the arches because if we don't have them, then the cement will just fall and never, will never be anything. So, yes. How amazing, I cannot wait to come back tomorrow and say hello to all of my friends who put this down. Ugh, I feel like such an asshole that I wasn't here, but <laughs> nonetheless, I will be here all the other days. I am staying until this shit is done. Beautiful shit, of course. It's gonna be great. Okay. Yay! Foundation! So back at the site. Today we are leveling out the foundation and um, in preparation to build the walls that will be um, where I showed you. So also some of the rebar has been built up. The process of leveling out the site is actually really interesting the way they do it. What they use is a piece of tubing, right here, this piece of tubing, and they fill it with water, and then they hold up one side of the tube on one of these um, posts, and they hold it there and mark it, and then um, they take the other side of the tube, and keep, keep in mind that the tube is full of water and they hold it up to another pole, another one of the, the supports. And when, when they get to a point where the water stays level inside of the tube and doesn't come out one side or the other, then they found the spot on the, uh, on the post that is level. So then they mark where that is and they do that with every post. So they keep the one um, piece of tube stationary on one pole and they move around the other side of the tube to the other poles and mark where the, the water stays level, stays still. It doesn't come out either end. It's really cool. I've never really seen a, a site like leveled out like that. <laughs> so, it's neat. <laughs> I'm sitting here in between the natural spring and the site where the Temescal is going to be. And actually right here behind me is where the shower is going to be for people to rinse off oh, and, and change for their Temescal experience. So today we poured some of the cement that is um, going to be the platform for where we start stacking the cinder blocks here so we're hopefully going to be going up a little bit later today and uh, yeah and this spring is really cool because 
Uh, it was, it's a natural spring. They, they were building over here and they found a natural spring up in the mountains. So they tapped it and they made this really wonderful um, cement uh, pond and uh, collected all the spring water. And it's really cool because they use the spring water. It's really hard to get water here, you know, because we're very actually really far from from, many, from most things. So there's no water pipes or anything. So it makes it possible to have these lavender gardens that are down here. And um, you know, there's a whole irrigation system that they built using the water from this spring to, uh, to water all of these beautiful plants. And then right below the lavender, there's actually a bee colony. So uh, the, um, you know, the lavender has many functions and so does the spring and they all support each other in this beautiful ecosystem that we have. So yes, it's pretty cool. And the, the water will be used with the temescal as well. It will be used for um, creating the steam. Another form of cross-pollination, synchronicity. All works together, baby. <laughs>